Thank you for joining Book Drive, presented by Dandelion Breeze Audio, planting seed while you read. I follow Miss Bush trademark copyright 2003 by Kimberly. Short story copyright January 21st, 2023. Leaves skip across the brown grasses as winds blow a cool dampness that has now soaked through with wetness on a Christmas cotton sweater. It had rained earlier in the day and now there is a chill that fills the air. For the sun has not shown any prolonged light for the past three days. It would only come out in short spurts casting its rays of sunlight, like leaves that cast their shadows on a bright clear day, as a floating breeze flickers and shimmers upon a dew-kissed limb and leaf. Christina had went to the market, picking up groceries of fresh fruit and garden-ripened vegetables on this late fall day. She is in charge of preparing supper this night for five people. Five people she has never met before. She only knows two are her age of 17, and the others are adult parents and one elderly grandparent. She only knew to ask herself, how did I get stuck cooking for strangers? She walked through the maze of produce booths that intermingle with fine crafts made by hand of neighboring vendors. As she passed by a craft booth of wooden 3D laser cut masterpieces of picture quality landscape scenes that revealed the depths of light and dark, of life and movement, capturing action with a moment one remembers. There was a gorgeous laser cut fish as it appears jumping out of the water, chasing line and lure with its back arched. And within that was an etched layer of background of the water's edge and timbers of trees. Then a nearer layer of waters cresting into cascading waves driven by winds and breeze upon the water's top layer then you view the boat resting in a cove with a fisherman casting his line and reeling in a nice size fish looking at this piece you realize the handcrafter of this piece has captured a moment in time you yourself remember a day fishing with your dad and the calm purpose you were doing something and it was all in a day of fun So often we get caught up in the work that we miss the enjoyment of the actual process of doing something. And looking at this wooden sculpture of layers of life and steps to reach it brings a smile to Christina's face. For she realized this meal she is about to prepare has similar layers of depth and steps to be fulfilling and satisfying. First, She will marinate the fish with succulent spices to make a savory sauce to cover fresh root vegetables seasoned with butter, salt, dill, and coriander for a tangy zest. Served with crisp corn cut from the cob and creamy buttery mashed potatoes with a brown gravy drizzled upon them. And dessert will be a simple fresh sliced strawberry jello on a sugar baked crust dolloped with fresh whipped cream drizzled with fresh berry syrup and ending with a relaxing cup of warm apple cinnamon cider as this night for this family is a celebration of family joy and love sharing of a birthday an anniversary and remembrance of all things old and the good that has come to each one of them through the strengthening bonds of family. When doing what is good, what is best, and what is right, 
before the sight of our Lord Christ Jesus. There each one finds their own strength, whom rest in his will, and not that of their own will and wishes. God will bring unto you the abundance overflowing when choosing and walking in Him. May this day you find His presence within you and trust His lead, His guide, and you'll forever walk right in His sight. For the Lord feeds the hungry, allows the blind who seek to see, and those who follow in Him to never wander as though they be lost. Trust in the Lord, do not turn to the left or to the right. Walk straight the path, turning not back, but looking only forward to His straight and narrow path where boundaries keep light forever shining, as darkness is put out where a light does shine. Darkness cannot remain. Christina walked on, had bought the preparations for the evening supper. She hurried on home and began preparing the meal. It was still early in the afternoon. She had plenty of time. Once she began laying out her plan and menu, everything began falling into place. As she prepared the fish to marinate, she then began peeling the potatoes for the mashed potatoes so they could be cooking. As the potatoes were cooking and the root vegetables were in the oven to bake, she began slicing the strawberries and preparing the jello. She had earlier in the day baked the sugar crust that the jello and strawberries would set upon. Her day was moving fast. Everything was flowing smoothly. No one entered the kitchen to disturb her, so her mind stayed focused. Now evening had come and the guests began to arrive. For one short moment, she realized why she had been chosen to prepare this meal for these five strangers. And joy filled her heart to see God's plan. Though she didn't know it this morning when she began, but now with a satisfying peace, she was overwhelmed that God's presence revealed that she had what others needed. For just the day before, this family had lost their home. They themselves were struggling to see the path of God's will, of how they would rebuild everything they had lost. Yesterday was a birthday, today was an anniversary, and they were family, sharing in the celebration of both as they trust in faith and believing, knowing God provides to all those who seek Him. And it just so happened, as God's will works, the church who sent the family to Christina's house knew of her talent in cooking and that her parents had space and table to invite a family of five and provide to them a fresh and humbling meal shared of peace and thanksgiving in prayer in Christ Jesus for each new day to walk in Him. May you also learn God's peace in each of your new days. No matter the abundance, no matter the lack thereof, God is always with you. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be open, though the path that is opened may be different than that which you ask. Those who trust in the Lord, the Lord shall provide, for he knows these things you have need of before you ask.
This has been a Dandelion Breeze Audio Book Drive Podcast, Planting Seed While You Read, by Kimberly Ann, Trademark Copyright 2020. See you next time on Book Drive, a Dandelion Breeze Audio presentation, Planting Seed While You Read.